So 250 highlights from AT&T Stadium in Arlington. The wild opening round for 250 East a couple of weeks ago in Detroit where a first turn crash cost a lot of riders. Here's Austin Fortner brought, that's his own stuff for it's military tactical gear, right? Yeah. Into it. So he's been in that the last couple years. So uh, cool to see that. Having fun with the fans. You know the fans love it. Oh yeah. So whole shot in the main. Hayden Deegan really needed that. Had his teammate, rookie Nick Romano with him. But Fortner with the red plate, your points leader, was on the charge early. Yeah, what a difference uh, from Detroit to this weekend. And, and this is what we wanted to see right here. These two talked about them being the favorites. I think there's a lot of speculation coming into this championship that we were going to watch these two battle it out. And we surely did here early on. Seth Hamaker here on the 43 Monster Pro Circuit Kawasaki making the move on Romano. Seth riding well here um, early on, basically the whole the whole race, especially at the beginning of this main event. Good to see Nick Romano out there uh, getting getting some love. And then uh, Cameron McAdoo, I thought if he was able to get by his teammate a little earlier, he maybe maybe could have uh, had a chance. Yep. This section was getting difficult. Yeah, you got to watch that. Um, we talked about it during the race. This guy's having a tough time back down, back siding at tabletop. Deegan's keeping some pressure on Forkner. Yeah. It's that same rhythm section that we showed you earlier. Yeah, he kept, on the, that. he kept them steady. And here it is. Oh, brutal for Forkner while leading. Absolutely brutal crash onto the concrete. Here's another look, and this was a very tricky start. So he comes up short. Okay, watch his weight gets kicked forward, his feet get, gets kicked off the pegs, and his left hand comes off, and then he goes off track. You guys can see the rest of the result from that. You just hate to see it, and you, and you see the emotion there. Um, you know what's on the line. You know what he's been through the last five years, and. You, you hate to bring it up, but you have to in our position sometimes. And I just hope that he's okay at this point. I don't even want to speculate. And look at that. Deegan seems surprising. This is actually his first Supercross win, and that's how you celebrate it in the Deegan family with the ghost ride. That's what his dad did when he won a Supercross back in 1997. Well, you wonder when it was going to come. And uh, I was looking to see a type of ride like this. He did, him, he, he did a great job. And he was right there before Austin Forkner fell down. So, uh, and we still had some racing left. Anything could have happened. Did he get a gift? Yes, but he was in the right spot. And he, he played it perfectly. He was applying pressure. Yes. See McAdoo on the podium and Tom Vial from way back. He had a big crash. Yes. In that great. same rhythm section in qualifying. Great job by them. And Pierce yeah. Brown, some notables. Pierce yep. Brown and Seth Hamaker, great job by those two riders. And Max Anstey was way back early, ends up six. That is important. We'll show you why in a moment. Here is uh, just outside the top 10. Romano goes back to 12. Fortner will finish 20th. They'll actually score two points for that. And also, Jalik Swole was down in that rhythm lane. He did not finish this race either. 